Okay. For my presentation, I interviewed my dad, Brad Hall. And he is an attorney at law. When I asked him, what type of education do you need to be a lawyer? He said, I attended a community college for two years and then I transferred to the University of Wyoming for two years. This was the basis of my undergraduate degree. Then he attended law school at the University of Nebraska. He graduated number two in his class. He earned his junior, and he, when he graduated, he earned his junior doctorate in law. He also told me that this is the only profession where you earn a doctorate before you earn your master's degree. When I asked him, did your major in college pertain to law? No. I majored in political science. This is a far cry from pre-law, he said, but it will still get you into law school. He also told me that you can have a plethora of de it, the range of degrees that uh, law school will accept is a, a plethora of degrees. Law school is not just exclusive to pre-law. If you have an interest in law and can explain to the law school why you want to be a lawyer instead of, say, a psychologist or a political scientist or a history teacher, a lot of the times if you pa if you will pass one of their tests for law, they'll let they'll let you in, assuming that everything is up to par. When I asked him what type of opportunity do you have for adva ad advancement, he said. Well, right now, I actually don't have any. I am a name partner at, and, and shareholder of my own firm. I am my own boss, but it took a while to get here. He started as a part-time lawyer in Kansas City, Missouri. He was working on uh, cases that other lawyers, other partners had been assigning him, and he was only part-time. When he saw that there was no real opportunity for advancement there, he moved out to Longmont, Colorado and started working at a local firm. Now, after 10 years, he has a name partner on the firm and has his name on the door. When I asked him, does he have any supervisory responsibilities, he told me, I am part of, I am part of the personnel board. We decide who to hire and unfortunately, who to fire. We also decide who gets promotions and who gets partnership. He also employs his own assistants and provides salary for them off of his own payroll. When I asked him if he feels his salary is adequate to the work he does, he said, I have a salary that is more than adequate for the work that I do and definitely more adequate for my lifestyle, more than adequate for my lifestyle. Lawyers on average will make about, about above more than 150,000 a year. Name partners at a firm will average about more, will average above 200,000 a year. He wouldn't tell me how much he made though. When I asked him, how long have you worked at the firm you are currently working for? He said, I've been working at my firm since 1991. Within my career here, I was an associate for five years, a shareholder for four years, a partner for two years, and a name partner for one year. These positions are not mutually exclu are not exclusive to each other. For instance, you can be a partner and a shareholder at the same time, but they, but these steps are uh, the steps that you need to take to move up in law. For instance, you can't be a partner and an associate at the same time. When I asked him what type of, what field of law do you practice and why did you choose that field? He said, I work in personal injury and workers' compensation. I chose this field because I wanted to help people. And in this field of law, this is the, and in the field of law, this is the best way I could find. He also told me that he considered doing tax law and considered doing water law, but it just wasn't as fulfill, fulfilling even though the salary was higher. When I asked him what his most rewarding experience in, your, in his career was, 
He said, due to conf confidentiality, I cannot go into specific detail, but there was a wrongful death to a husband of a disabled woman who could not work. Their child was very intelligent and she was actually Harvard bound. She was pretty, very, very smart. And the, hus the husband was, pri was their primary source of income and their family depended on him. When he passed, they needed help because life insurance would not pay them as much as they should have. Certainly not enough to live the rest of their lives. After three long years of work on this case without pay, my, my dad earned them a huge amount of money in court. And negotiations, they were working on negotiations for three years. And when those failed, they went to court and the jury decided to award them I can't go into specifics, but within the millions and millions of dollars. This is only one of the, of the many, many fulfilling experiences I have had within my, field, within my practice of the field of law. And that is the end of my presentation.